What is up, everyone? Welcome back. This is Astronaut. I'm actually doing a very late um, live stream right now because um, <clears throat> I actually said I was going to do my live stream at 12 a.m. and I decided to cancel that one because I made some plans to kind of go out and um, do some impromptu karaoke. <laughs> but um, I actually, I'm actually back um, and I'm doing this live stream. So if anybody is on, then they can jump into the stream and catch me. Um, I don't know who from my regular stream is still on, but if you guys are out there, definitely come and join. Looks like we have at least one person. I see uh, two people. And this stream is all about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Guys, we had our first look at them. What's up, Buchan? Wow, Buchan is on. What's going on? It's pretty late, man. Are you normally on this late? Um, I wanted to do this. Michael Post. Hello, Michael. Welcome to the stream. I am talking about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We got our first look at the gameplay for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, Ed Boon uh, posted a photo of uh, Raphael eating a pizza out of a box. And, and it looks like it's, it's either a part of his intro or it's a part of his, um, you know, his ending animating. I mean, uh, Anna, <laughs> Animaniacs. His ending, ending animation. So we know that either in the intro or the uh, outro or the ending uh, animation that the uh, t the turtles or Raphael will be eating pizza. Outro. Thank you. You can all just say outro. I'm having some problems tonight. So so yeah. So we saw the turtles eat, or we saw Raphael eating the pizza, and then we also saw the um, uh, there was a gameplay. Uh, there was a gameplay screenshot where Black Manta is going up against two turtles at once. One of them I think was Raphael. The other one, either Michelangelo or I forget. I didn't catch the color of his bandana, but um. It's really interesting because this kind of gives us, we, it kind of throws us into this kind of, what's up, Chocolate? Wow, Chocolate, you are, you've been, you, have you been on this whole, have you been on YouTube this whole time? Um, but yeah, the interesting thing that I think that the turtle, the turtles kind of raise, the question that I think they raise at this point is, you know, I honestly think that Ed Boon is, is going to, it looks like Ginyu gameplay. You're right, but you can, honestly, I think, He's almost like introducing a whole new game mechanic with the turtles. Like the turtles look like they're going to be capable of doing something that no other character in the game is capable of doing. And with all of the characters, either they have, I hope we get the trailer tomorrow. I hope so too, Chocolate. With all other, with all other characters, they've introduced a premiere skin where you could use one character or the other. But it looks like with the turtles, it looks like Ed Boon is actually introducing a whole new game mechanic where. I mean, literally, the turtles are going to be interchangeable throughout the round. So, um, because in that one screenshot with Black Manta, Black Manta was kind of getting attacked by two turtles at once. And um, so it looks like, uh, kind of like Byukin, what you just said, it looks like you might be able to press like a le you know, left trigger button or a right trigger button, which might allow for one turtle to just kind of jump in, either jump in or jump, uh, jump in and jump out, or maybe completely exchange. You know, so you might be able to press the left trigger button and then Donatello comes out, press the left trigger button again, maybe Michelangelo come out. So I think that's probably what it's going to be. I can imagine how the shades are going to look. I can imagine how the shades are going to look. Well, yeah, the shades are going to be interesting because the turtles are kind of completely dependent on their color for you to even know who is who. So, you know, if you were to like take Leonardo and put him in like a purple shader, then all of a sudden, all of a sudden you have Donatello. If you take Michelangelo and you put him in like a red shader, you have Raphael. So I don't know how the shaders are going to work with the turtles because the turtles need their color for us to know exactly who's who. But um, but yeah, so um, I honestly, so I, I did not think that Ed Boon was going to come up with a whole interchangeable. I know people have been throwing that idea out there, but no other character in the game has that game mechanic to them. You know, no one, of the, no other character will allow you to switch out so i didn't think they were going to do that with the turtles in the comics there are different shades respective colors oh uh, okay Buchan. well that's an idea because you know i guess if you have different shades of blue then we would still know that it's leonardo so that's a good idea i was just thinking in terms of like all the different gear that's available for all the different characters we typically we tend to see you know uh, uh, superman he's classically in red and blue but there's all kinds of armor out there where he's in like black he's in like black and red he's in all white he's in all that stuff so you can't get that flexible with the turtles you know um the most you can do is just give different variations of the same color you know i mean who knows but um uh but i'm excited to see uh you know 
exactly I, I can't see like i can't wait to see the full trailer so we can see exactly everything that they're going to be able to do um and who knows what their uh what their super move is going to look like you know it would be cool to be a, if they had a super move where you could see the other teenage mutant ninja turtle characters like april o'neill and splinter and shredder or whatever but who knows i don't know so guys are y'all excited about the teenage mutant ninja turtles do y'all want to see the gameplay trailer because um i can't wait till the watchtower the watchtower they break it down pretty well oh okay women watchtower i bet they and gear could look sick yeah, you know, Chocolate... Oh, yeah, um, real quick, Buke and Watchtower, is that like another gaming channel? Yeah, uh, Chocolate, I, I agree with you. Did it drop? Oh, Shy town No, it hasn't dropped yet. Um, I, I actually, I've just been going over... We've only seen screenshots. Um, Ed Boon released a screenshot of either the intro or the outro where Raphael has pizza, and then he also released a screenshot of two turtles fighting Black Manta all at once. Oh, Tyler Lansdowne. Okay, yeah, he's like the he's like the staff member for NRS. Okay, I know who that is, Buchan. I do know who that is. Um, so yeah, Shy Town. It hasn't dropped yet, but you know what? Honestly, guys, I wouldn't be surprised if Ed Boon just did like a, just a drop without any press, without any promo, just put it online. It's a show. Okay, you know, I mean, you know, all the other trailers have pretty much had a lot of promo and all that stuff. But it it would be really interesting if Ed Boon just like dropped the the tra the the trailer just on the internet just dropped it didn't say anything and then every all of a sudden people are searching and then all of a sudden they just come across it that would be a pretty interesting way to come across that gameplay trailer um, Kingpin welcome to the late night stream here we are talking about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and how they're all going to be playing together interchangeable so um, so yes I don't know how I feel about that. But you know, the thing about it, with the turtles being interchangeable, this is going to make, you know, everyone who's gotten burned out on Injustice 2 since it's already been out for a year, this is going to make a lot of people get back on Injustice 2. Um, King and Together, what? That's going to be so weird. Yeah, King Pin. They actually have a screenshot of the gameplay where two turtles are actually fighting Black Manta at the same time. So it looks like either one turtle, you know, either you can call in different turtles at one time you know but they're all like fighting as a team in some some way so it looks like I was saying earlier how they look, look like they're doing a whole new game mechanic for the turtles specifically and exclusively but going back to what I was just saying everyone who's tired of Injustice now because it's been like a year everyone's gonna get back on Injustice 2 just so that they can play with the turtles just so that they can see what they can do so in some ways I think Ed Boon is really clever to come up with the turtles being interchangeable because that's going to make people want to get back in the game. The trailer is most likely dropping in the next Watchtower episode. So when is when does the Watchtower episode when are the Watchtower episodes? I don't really know about it. When do they come on? Is it is it on cable? Is it on internet? Is it on the is it on YouTube? Kingpin not to my knowledge. I have not seen a release date just yet. That's why I was mentioning in just a second. Oh, Chocolate's not tired of Injustice 2. Twitch stream. Oh, thanks, thanks, Chai Town. The last six to eight months, they have been so many good fighting games. Yeah, it's true. It's especially ready for MK11. Chocolate, are you secretly try trying to turn this stream into a Mortal Kombat 11 stream? Chocolate, I think you're secretly trying to overturn this live stream into a Mortal Kombat 11 stream. <laughs> Anyways, um but uh but yeah so but yeah so the turtles are definitely going to get people back who are your three main injustice um fire firestorm aquaman and those are really the only main two that i really play with it's on youtube what are you talking about the are you talking about watchtower on youtube oh maybe they they broadcast on youtube also um but yeah so the um the teenage mutant ninja turtles are uh yeah, they're definitely going to get people back into Injustice 2 if they got if people are kind of getting tired of it a little bit. No Robin? Shy town I'm not quite sure uh, where that comment's coming from or what that's ref referring to. I should not check them out. Buchan, yes, I will. Especially if they're doing, if they're gamers, then I'll definitely check it out because it'll help me stay on top of, on top of all the gaming news. Chocolate, no. 
Yes, you are, Chocolate. You, Chocolate, you want me to sit up here and start talking about Sub-Zero and Scorpion, and you want me to start talking about how Raiden is going to be the villain for Mortal Kombat 11. Chocolate wants to get me all worked up talking about how Katana and Liu Kang going, going um, you know, just basically going to put Raiden in a headlock, and then and then we're going to see, like, Reptile come out of nowhere, and then Melina's going to jump out of nowhere, and everyone's going to be like, what? We thought Melina was dead! And it's going to turn out that Melina was wasn't even dead. It was a clone who got killed by Kotal Kahn and Devora. And Chocolate wants me to sit here and keep talking about how how you know Cassie Cage is gonna get killed because nobody really liked her and no one liked the fact that she kicked Shinnok's butt in in Mortal Kombat X because that made no sense. I'm sorry, I'm done. <laughs> Anyways, um, Buchan, it was a clone. It was a clone, Buchan. Don't tell me that. Don't tell. Ah, it was a clone. Maybe they will use noob side about style combos just like turtle style. I like Cassie Cage. Oh, Michael Post, I'm sorry. I guess, I mean, I'm not trying to speak bad about her, but I thought it was a little ridiculous that she defeated Shinnok. But we'll talk about that later. Um, but, you know, a lot of people thought that the turtles were going to play like Triborg from Mortal Kombat X. And that, no, 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 no. But at least, you know. With the uh, <laughs> chocolate, at least with the uh, you know with Triborg, you actually got a chance to choose one or the other, and, and you played with that that you played with that character the whole entire time through the match. Shy Town, no. Shy Town, were you saying no to? No, no, no. Um, but with, but here with the turtles, you know, you're if they're interchangeable, then that is totally like not like Triborg at all. But to be honest with you, honestly, I kind of like the idea of Triborg probably better than the Turtles if they're doing this interchangeable stuff. Because, you know, you do know Moob isn't dead, right? Moob, Kingpin, who's Moob? Definitely not Triborg stuff. Oh, oh, Chi Town. Yeah, it's definitely. But see, I kind of like the idea of being able to choose one variation and use that same character throughout. You know, this whole interchangeable thing with the turtles, I think it'll be like a fun, it's like, it'll, it'll be like a fun little surprise for everybody. And it, it, it'll get people's attention in terms of like press and media exposure and stuff like that. But honestly, I, I really kind of like how, I like how Tri Triborg was set up. I think he meant Noob. Noob is actually still alive. He never died. Kingpin. They don't have variations though. Yeah, the, looks like the Turtles are not going to have variations. Looks like they're not. They're all going to play as a team, looks like it, literally. But, guys, why is it talking about... What are you talking about Noob Saibot didn't die? Doesn't everyone know that Noob Saibot was Bihan, the original Sub-Zero, who died and came back as Noob Saibot? Y'all are turning this into a Mortal Kombat stream, and I don't appreciate that. And neither, neither does Goku. You can't see his face... But it's actually very angry. Like, er, uh, you can't see it, but he's angry. So, but to be honest, tag team combos. Tag team combos, Shy Town. Okay, tag team combos for what? Uh, f oh, 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 maybe for the turtles? Is that what you're talking about? Donatello is gonna be sick. Buchan, what do you think? You think he's gonna be sick? What? You think he's gonna have the flu or something? How is he gonna be sick? Do you think he's gonna be like he he's gonna like have the cold, have a cold and that doesn't make sense. Like someone's gonna have to give him some medication or medicine before he plays every in every round. Buchan's throwing me off, guys. Um, welcome, Antoine. Welcome, welcome. We got a late night stream going on. Um, MK9 will walk kips him into the didn't kill him. He's somewhere alive on his own. Oh, Kingpin. Okay, I got you. Buchan, really good. Noob style tag team combos with the turtles. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, Shy Mikey's gonna be beast. Yeah, oh, Antoine, uh, unless the shaders for the Ninja Turtles change the color from them being green or like yellow or. Oh, that would be interesting. You know, that would that's a thought right there. Maybe the shaders might not change the color of their bandanas, but it might actually change the color of their skin to where they actually like, you know, they might actually have like same colors but different skins or maybe different clothes you know because we never see the turtles in clothes they might actually get some gear that actually puts them in some really cool clothes that would be really really cool but anyway i'm trying to figure out why Buchan thinks that donatello is going to be sick i mean he was never sick in any of the like maybe some coughs or i mean he, I don't ever remember him being having to go to the doctor or getting put in medication. I, I mean, I grew up on the turtles, and Donatello was never feeling under the weather. 
I hope you can sick is in really good. Okay. Raphael will be beast to me. I don't know why. <laughs> Meaning he's going to be great. Whatever, no. I know what Buchan was really trying to say. Buchan was trying to say that Donatello was going to start fighting, and then all of a sudden he was going to start coughing, and then, like, like Enchantress and, and the Atom, is gonna, they're going to come out because they're all in the same fighter pack, and they're going to have to put Donatello on a stretcher, and they're going to drive off with him to the hospital. That's what he meant. No, I'm joking. Buchan, come on. I'm joking. Wah, wah, wah. Anyways, guys, if you're new to the stream, welcome. I just got finished uh, talking about how Donatello is apparently sick and is in, in need of care. Um, maybe when you press B circle, the turtles will change. Yes. But yes, we are talking about the turtles. Apparently, the turtles are actually interchangeable. No one knew how they were going to play, but it looks like we've kind of solved the puzzle from that screenshot. They are going to be interchangeable. They do fight as a team. It looks like you might be able to call in different turtles as the game goes along. But, you know, um, that makes the most sense. But, you know, really, if that's the case, and they're, then really, like, Injustice 2 is going to be kind of borrowing from, like, Marvel vs. Capcom by, tr like, introducing the turtles where you can actually, like, bring in different turtles. But, you know, the thing is, I was reading an article about this, and it says the tur all the turtles are still going to count as one turtle. So, it looks like they're, pl they're still going to have, like, one life bar, like, one health bar. So, no matter who how many turtles you call in, it looks like it's still going to take down the damage of the turtles as if it was one character. Because, I mean, that would, that, would, that would be totally unfair if each turtle had their own life bar. That would be crazy. Not really, because combos are better. I have work at four, and so I have around three hours of sleep. So night, Kingpin. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I do appreciate your time. I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, I'm announcing the winners to the uh, to the giveaway tomorrow at 12 a.m. at night. So tune in for that. Try to answer the questions to the Mortal Kombat trivia if you want a shot after 10 p.m. on my Twitter page tomorrow night. Guys, we're up to 12 visitors. Welcome, guys. Who's the best turtle? I think Michelangelo. Well. I don't really know. I think Michelangelo is the most fun. Can you imagine the dialogue between the Ninja Turtles and the regime? Well, honestly, I can't wait to see exactly what they're going to talk about. Because did y'all notice? Did y'all notice the the dialogue between the guest characters and the regular characters in Mortal Kombat X was dead. They they didn't let Predator, Jason, or Alien or Leatherface say anything to the other combatants. So you know so that wasn't very exciting but with the turtles you know the turtles will probably have to come i'm sure they're going to say something clever it's going to have insane reach okay buchan what is up with you and donatello first donatello is sick and he's in need of care and now he's insane like he needs to be taken to like a psychiatric ward buchan you are just totally off, like off the charts tonight leatherface can't talk um yeah you are that yeah yeah i yeah i yeah i know that tj tj welcome to the stream hi yes 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 it's okay to be new we want new people to come and hang out with us antoine lol antoine what are you laughing at well got me laughing over here you can i'm trying to figure out like you know you know got you know donatello like i mean what you think maybe one of his gear outfits can be like him in like a straight jacket like he's gonna be like literally insane and someone's gonna feed be feeding him cough syrup Anyways, I'm sorry. Donatello was the, <laughs> Donatello was the best on the original TV arcade due to his weapon reach. Paulette, Paulette, welcome back to the stream. It's go so good to see familiar faces. And this is good for me because it's letting me know exactly who's still on at what time of night. So it'll get, help me know what, what time is good to do streams. I love them. Hope, hope they're up close. TJ, oh, hope, hope they're up close, TJ. Antoine, I wish we had Power Rangers. Antoine, don't say that too loud. Ed Boon might get excited. And then next thing you know, we'll see the Power Rangers as the guest characters for Mortal Kombat 11. And then all hella break loose. I will be mad as hell. Donatello, Kung Jin, Bo Staff. Interesting. I like Raphael, says Chocolate. Why not, Antoine? Uh, Ricardo, what do you think their super move will be like? Ricardo, um, Buchan, Power Ranger. <laughs> Buchan. <laughs> uh, let's see. Antoine, why? Let's see. Ricardo. Um, you know, Ricardo, I honestly, in my mind, okay, guys, in my mind, for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, for their super move, I honestly, I, I kind of go back to my 10-year-old self, 
and I kind of hope their super move will kind of like, like you know how some people's super move will totally t warp them into a whole different location for the super move. I kind of hope that the super move will warp, like take the uh, the characters onto like the streets of Manhattan with like a big old like a uh, you know manhole you know and then the manhole like blows up and all four turtles come out and then you kind of see shredder maybe in the background and like you know and then they all just start like that's like my 10 year old mind kind of wants to see the whole like you know like sewer manhole streets of Manhattan all four turtles that's kind of how I want to see the super move if they do something different from that I don't know about that but I think their super move will involve the van tr trash truck Oh, you know, that's true. I'd forgotten about that. Yeah. Boo, Johnny Cage. Antoine, what, what is this? What is this random MK characters blurting out? What's going on? I think Raphael was the main turtle in the screenshot, and Michelangelo was the assist because he wasn't wearing gear. Huh. Okay. Oh, Antoine, Mudson, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. I'm so glad you're joining in the conversation. I hope you can pick your turtle, then pick a trait for your turtle assist. Huh. That, yeah, Paula, that would be cool. But, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm wondering if they're, they're even going to specify because it looks like all four turtles are going to be maybe, like, available for assist, possibly. Or they might let you choose one. I don't know. Liu Kang is the best. Chocolate. What's up, Ant Oh, yeah, Antoine, welcome to the stream. Chocolate, people are blurting out random MK names. And I'm not going to start talking about MK because y'all know how much I hate talking about Mortal Kombat. And, and I just, that's... I'm lying. I'm totally lying. For If you're new to the stream, I'm totally lying. I love Mortal Kombat. It doesn't take much to get me talking about it. Which game is more better? Is it MKX or Injustice 2? Mortal Kombat X by far. By far. Paulette, Melina is love. Ah, tasty. Love Melina. Buchan, Kung Lao is Bay. Buchan, interesting. I didn't know I didn't know he was your favorite. Paulette, MKX. Oh yeah, of course, MKX. Name Lord. Name Lloyd, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Antoine, MKX. Well, yeah, and plus, you know, one thing I like about Mortal Kombat X is the combat is much more realistic. Like, have y'all noticed that when, when the characters are fighting in Injustice 2, it almost sounds like plastic? Like, do, 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 do. I mean, who? What, what, who sounds like that? It's, yeah, it sounds really clunky. It doesn't sound like skin on skin. It actually sounds like, you know, it literally sounds like action figures fighting. They just need to quit playing and add Master Splinter. Rich Rod. <laughs> Literally sounds clunky. Yeah, but you can. I noticed that. It makes me kind of not really... But but Mortal Kombat, I mean, it literally sounds like like people are wrestling. When someone gets thrown, it literally sounds like you can like hear their clothes kind of being like pulled, you know? Mortal Kombat is like they put so much more thought into the combat with that. But Injustice 2, I think, is just a cash cow. I think Injustice 2 is just a really big cash cow, and they're trying to like just throw as many characters from the DC Universe in there so they can and get that gear, gear customization and make as much money off of all these downloadable characters and this gear. You think the, tra the trailer will drop Saturday or Sunday for... Antoine, I honestly don't know because they haven't given us a date. Which turtle is your favorite? Michelangelo, TJ. But we need better fight styles in MK. Well, Antoine, chocolate, LOL. Chocolate, what are you laughing at? Pa Paulette, MK is more realistic. Totally, totally, pa Paulette. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Um, let's see. Antoine, Scarecrow's command grab sounds good, though. But going back to what... An wait, hold on. Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, going back to what Antoine was saying. I mean, the fight styles, are you talking about for Injustice 2 or are you talking about for Mortal Kombat, Antoine? Because, because I think the whole variation system is a really good, you know... That is a really good style of fighting. Actually, the variation system is just the evolved form of the three the three fighting style co like collection that they had back in Armageddon and Deception. Oh, MKX. Yeah, well, see, I thought that. Yeah, I thought the variation system was really good. I mean, I, I thought. I mean, I thought the fighting style with the variations was really good. That's something that you don't even get to do in Injustice Two. You you don't you can't do variations on them, which kind of makes them a little boring. But they got gear customization, so who the hell, and people don't care. We are up to 14 visitors. Guys, welcome. We are talking about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. How we just realized... <laughs> Buke and variations is bay. <laughs> there are more fighting play style and justice. is just boring. Yeah, guys, welcome to the stream. We're talking about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the, and the dramatic revelation that they're all literally going to fight together. I can't believe this. Andra, welcome to the stream. They need to hurry up with the teenage so we can just focus on Mortal Kombat 11. I know, I know, I know. Let's hurry up and get this mess. But see, this game isn't coming out until 2019. So 
Injustice needs stage DLC. Oh, that would be great, Antoine. I, actually, I've talked about, I've talked about it in the past, um, in the past streams, how Netherrealm needs to start doing like downloadable content with more backgrounds, stages, and they also need to do more downloadable content for adding extra chapters to the story modes. That would be great if they started doing downloadable content for extra stages that you can play on because for both Injustice and Mortal Kombat, they give you maybe like 10 stages and that's it. You know, they need to, you know, actually, I think in the whole fighting genre, they need to they need to get get better with expansion packs. I mean, they're doing expansion packs for like every other game out there for RPGs. You know, uh, you know, Final Fantasy is good for doing expansion packs. They need to get the fighting the fighting um, genre needs to get better at doing uh, expansion packs that include um, more cha story chapters and more background stages. Street Fighter adds stages year round. Yeah, MK11 Revenant DLC story chapters. Yes, Buchan. Yes, yes, yes. So we can figure out what happened to the Revenants. Chocolate. They should have like 25 or 30 arenas. Wow, Chocolate. If they did that, oh, then we probably wouldn't see this game until like 2020. <laughs> <laughs> hey we're up to 16 people guys welcome to the stream where we have been talking about the turtles the shocker that they actually are going to play as a team literally i did not think it was literally going to happen i can't wait for soul caliber oh antoine yeah soul caliber 6 looks great and i can't wait to see if people are still feeling the uh 3d fighter 3d fighting game whoa that's a lot of levels yeah but you can 25 or 30 i mean hell i'd be happy you know, uh, my friend Orion, he's not in here, but me, him and I, we're like, look, if you keep giving us good content, take all my money. Take all my money. Take it. Make it rain. And also give me rain as a downloadable character. Wah, wah. Anyways. Um, Antoine, no. What are you talking about? No. Soul Calibur 6 is going to be a bust. You know, really? Well, they're kind of starting. They're trying to hype it up right now. Let me go back through some of the... There's a character that nobody has mentioned that is Talon from Court of Owls. What do you think? What do you think about that? TJ, I, I'm not familiar with Talon, Talon or Court Court of Owls. I'm not familiar with that game. Let's see. They need another DC versus MK again. Oh no, 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 Rich. No, no, they don't. Rich, I will tell you why. Because on the first DK versus Mortal Kombat, they could not do. They still couldn't do. Uh, fatalities on the dc characters all they could do was just like beat them up and i'm like you know look taking fatalities away from mortal kombat is like is like taking um you know like taking the umbrella away from mary poppins you just don't do it mary poppins needs a way to get around she does not drive a car she doesn't take the train or bus she needs her umbrella so she can coast through the air you can't take fatalities away and if they do another dc versus mk it's going to be the same thing all over again with just no fatalities and anyways anyways uh hold on let me go through some comments here hey ben elliott welcome back to the streams good to see you and yeah, not a fan of injustice games just here for you and the mk11 thank you so much ben for showing up i do appreciate it was just was interest to a fail it's all just under three million mkx sold five well, hey, well, Paulette, Paulette, actually, we're right in the middle of the life cycle. We're right in the middle of the life cycle for Injustice 2. So Injustice 2 technically has another full year to go. So by the end of this life cycle, it probably will have sold much more reworked. Buchan, you can't shoot Superman, Batman. Exactly, exactly, Buchan. Uh, they need to do it again, but more no style that would push them up a level. More MK. <coughs> I got you, Rich. But, you know, they still wouldn't, they still can't do. Oh, we're up to 18 people in the stream, guys. Welcome. We are talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We just realized they're actually, they're literally going to be playing interchangeably with each other. Scorpion is life. TJ, get over here. That was a poor Scorpion in, 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 in interpretation. I'm sorry. What if they have a 2 oath story mode in Mortal Kombat 11 like they did in Mortal Kombat 11, where they can choose either Johnny Cage and the Heroes of the Revenant? You know that would be very clever. Clever name, name. Are you are you, Naim? Is it Naim or name? Bad. Are you calling my scorpion? I mean, I can call my scorpion impression bad, but you can't. How dare you? I'm joking. Um, side. Oh yeah. Uh. Oh yeah. Yeah, chocolate. That would be really cool if um, 
if the story mode for Mortal Kombat 11 actually gave you several characters to choose from, and then you could choose the different each perspective, because in Dragon Ball Fighters it actually gives you three like two different perspectives to fight from. Kevin Anderson, hey Breezy, just a shout out. You're doing great. Kevin, why thank you so much. I do appreciate that. Thanks for joining the stream. Paulette, stay over there, Scorpion, and eat a sandwich. I can see your skin. <laughs> um, but yes, so, um, but yeah, Dragon Ball Fighters gives you the option to choose either the good fighter side or the bad fighter side. Antoine is still laughing at me for no apparent reason. I don't appreciate it, and neither does Goku. Um, so yeah, so Mortal Kombat, but see, it would, you know, Doing multiple perspectives might be a little cheesy for Mortal Kombat. I don't know how they would really pull it off. But, uh, you know, you know what free everything else we need shouldn't masters too. TJ, I'm not catching what you're saying here. You know what freak everything else we, sh we need shouldn't masters too? Huh. Not quite sure on what that comment is saying. Hit me again, maybe clarify for me. TJ. Anyways, we got 15 viewers. TJ made no sense. <laughs> Buchan, thank you for, for stating the obvious. Okay, TJ. We need... Okay, I'm with you. Okay. What is he saying? Paulette? I don't know. <laughs> Shaolin? Okay. Antoine is just having a good time over there. He is just like he went from L O L and now he has like upgraded to L M A O. Like he is like rolling on the ground now. Like apparently he earlier he was just ha ha ha, but apparently now he's like ah. So I'm so glad. Auto correct. <laughs> TJ. Okay. Okay, TJ, I got you. It happens to me, too. It's frustrating, especially when you're in the stream and everybody reads. The whole room reads your stream, and it is like, and, and now everyone thinks you're crazy because autocorrect totally butchered you up. I know. TJ, wild, wildly. Okay. But anyway, so guys, so, so yeah, so Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they are going to play. Shaolin Monks 2. TJ, so what was it that you were wanting to say about Shaolin Monks 2? You need another, a sequel? Is that what you're saying? I got lost at freak everything else. <laughs> Are we still talking about TJ's comment? Antoine, pass what you're smoking. <laughs> oh, TJ, I'm drunk. Antoine. Okay, so first TJ says it was autocorrect. Now he's saying he's drunk. So now it's now I'm just completely suspicious. Antoine. Okay, Antoine, now you're starting to type like TJ because I don't know what you're saying either. Here? Here where? Okay, guys. All right, we're up to 16 viewers. Guys, welcome to the stream. We are talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We have just discovered from some screenshots that um, they are going to be interchangeable. We, we've seen some screenshots where they are fighting with Black Manta and multiple turtles are fighting against uh, Black Manta. So you're going to be able to either call and assist or you're going to be able to, uh, like, you know, uh, actually maybe use a trigger button to interchange them. Paulette, Mama here. Matima. Matima here. Oh, how can they fix Devora? Well, Paulette, that's an easy question. They can fix Devora by not putting her any, in any more Mortal Kombat titles. I'm still mad that she killed Melina. And, and, I, and I still think that someone needs to call the Bug Man. Someone needs to call, someone needs to get some pesticide. Or someone needs to call the Exterminator and go and get her. Literally. Melina's not dead. Yes, I know she's not. I'm sure that was a clone. Has to be clear. We're up to 17 visitors, guys. We are, yeah, thank you, Naeem. They need to delete, delete Devora, Antoine. Calm down. Clam down, clam down. Look, Antoine, I will have you know that I am allergic to clams, so I don't appreciate you telling me to clam down. You can, Devora is bae. Buke and get <laughs> Oh yeah, you gotta love oh you gotta love a, a woman who can who can ooze all kinds of green fluids and 
and and incubate her young inside of you bro you mad bro nah you mad Buchan, you need help shang sung return antoine maybe well shang sung i hate tanya and her ending she killed rain he is my favorite yeah well tanya is tanya betrays that's she's a betrayer she's been betraying people ever since mortal kombat 4 so you know that's nothing new uh we wife and bugs no <laughs> that's funny shang sung return antoine well shang sung was mentioned in a lot of intros and he was also in, in mentioned in a, in a lot of uh in a lot of um character endings in mortal kombat x so i honestly think shang sung is going to be back and actually in the ermax ending he actually uh you know that's that's always her story she's a backstabber yeah paulette yeah tanya is just no good but shang sung actually like kills ermac because apparently as of right now shang sung's soul is contained inside of the souls with ermac and and according to ermac's ending he frees himself and then kills ermac so i hope shijinko comes back antoine to be honest with you i don't i don't care for shijinko they just didn't do his storyline right him and deception i think he was just silly all right, guys, we got 13 viewers. Guys, welcome. We are still talking about the turtles, um, and they are actually going to be interchangeable. Why? He was good. He was clueless. He got fooled by the dragon. And he also was using everybody, el everybody else's special attacks. He was, you know, I didn't like that. Aaron Black is bae. <laughs> TJ, oh, yeah, you know, uh, you catch him in that, um, uh, where he's bearing his midriff, that, that uh, stripper, the, the stripper Aaron Black. Where he's he's you know he has the he has his midriff showing and the you know I love the fighting style Antoine okay the fighting style wait 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 hold on oh. you think the cyborgs are gone for good and do you think Triborg is the main cyborg now well Antoine um <laughs> Paul <laughs> um. Well, Antoine, honestly, I think um, Netherrealm reserves the right to do whatever they want to with them because Triborg was totally not canon whatsoever. He was not in the story mode for MKX, and they just totally decided to throw him in as a gist, as a DLC character just because they wanted to. So that being the case, honestly, I think Triborg could appear at any given moment. He wasn't canon, so uh, it, you know it wasn't part of the official storyline. So, you know, they I think they can they just kind of reserve the right to just kind of play with Triborg. And plus, you know, Cyber Sub-Zero wasn't and he, you know, Sub-Zero was restored from being, you know, aut automated, but they still threw in Cy Cyber Sub-Zero as a has a hidden character and that was totally not the canon at all. So, I think Triborg could easily come back at any given moment because they just threw him in there just so that, you know, people could have fun using him. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Out Outcast Aaron Black Oh yeah, Shujinko is is not unique though. Sergio, Sergio, welcome to the stream. No, Takunin rises Borgs every everywhere. What's your best special? Let's see, Antoine, what's my best special? For which game? What are we talking about? Yeah. But um. Yeah. So um, MK best special attack. Well, you know, I mean, I'm you know, I'm a real big fan of uh, 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 teleporting and telekinesis. So the characters that can teleport and are telekinetic are typically my favorites. Um, Breezy, give a shout out to Michelle. She's she, she watching the, the stream too. What's up, Michelle? <laughs> TJ, let's see. Cassie beat the crap out of Sujinko in her, her ending, so he he might be dead. Well, you know, most of the most of the um. Uh, most of the character endings are typically not canon, so would it be cool if NRS made a Flash game? A Flash? Like, based on the character Flash? Interesting. Best special Kung Lao spin. Yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, telekinesis and, tele and teleporting. So I love Mathena, uh, Mathena, Melina's, um, uh, her ethereal variation because she can teleport. And I love Kenshi because he can use his telekinesis attack. Not so fond of uh, uh, Ermac though, cause his, his, his specials are a little more like, like psychic powers rather than telekinesis, but um, yes. Paulette, should MK have mafia mobster characters like Scarface? You know, that would be interesting. You know, but Paulette, really, I don't think, like, mo mobster characters are really all that exciting right now. You know, typically, whenever they include a Giz character, they do it because there's usually, like, a movie or some kind of, like, franchise that's about to, like, release some sort of either movie, trailer movie, 
um, episodes or reappearance on TV. So that's usually why they include those guest characters. So right now, I don't think mobsters would be really in demand, but it could possibly happen. Kai should come back in Mortal Kombat 11. Let me go through some of these comments here. Alex, welcome to the stream. Good to see you, buddy. Ermac is savage and hits like a truck. I see Rocksteady making making a the Flash game rather than NRS. Hmm. Buke and Kai definitely needs to come back. Everybody loves Kai. I'm not. I'm not on that train. Chocolate, same. You know, I've noticed. Um. Um. What's his name? Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me scroll back up here a little bit. Oh yeah, there we go. I noticed Antoine has not made a comment within the past like ten minutes. Oh, there he is. Kai could could being Lou could bring Lou back. I was worried Antoine like like died laughing somewhere. Just they they might be a super they might be a Superman game from Rocksteady. Paulette, yes, Kai could replace Jax because he's gonna get killed off. Yeah, Paulette. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about Jax getting killed. But guys, y'all know no one stays dead in Mortal Kombat. No one stays dead. Even look, look at Liu Kang. Liu Kang died in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, and they brought him back as a dang zombie. I mean, I mean, yeah. They brought him back playable as a zombie, so no one stays dead. And all, like, all the Earthrealm characters got killed in Mortal Kombat 9, and they all came back as playable Revenant characters. Yeah, I think Spawn is coming this time. And, and it was great. Well, you know, I really hope that, um, <coughs> yeah, Spawn has been thrown around a lot. Everyone, a lot of people were hoping for Spawn on Nor in, uh, in uh, Injustice 2, mostly like Sergio. Um, but yes, yeah, so going, Shao Kahn died in Deadly Alliance and came back for Deception. No one, yeah, no one stays gone for a very long time in the Mortal Kombat universe. And, you know, eventually they're going to, like, get done with this timeline that they're working on. And they're probably going to start another timeline, maybe with Mortal Kombat 12 or 13 down the road. No, MK would be his place. Um, but yes, we're up to 15 visitors, guys. Welcome to the stream. We have been talking about uh, Nether Room. We've been talking about Injustice 2. We've been talking about, um, we've been talking about the Turtles, um, and the shocker that they actually are going to play as interchangeable and having assists. So that's really interesting. We still don't know exactly how the assist system is going to be set up. We still don't know exactly how the interchangeable is going to happen. But we are going to find out in a few days. I don't know if they're going to officially announce the release date. I said, I'm, I'm thinking I might, they might just drop the trailer, just put it online and just like shock everybody. You know, that would be really cool though. I would really like that just to just... Because, you know, everybody's searching. You know, YouTube is a big search engine. So, you know, million, hundreds of thousands of people are getting on YouTube searching for the trailer anyway. So, Ed Boon knows that if he just secretly dropped the trailer without any kind of announcement, er, the whole world would go crazy. I think in E3 there's going to be a reveal, real, real trailer. Chocolate of what? MK11? I think the special going to end with Turtle Power. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So, yes, um, but yes, so I don't know, but you know, what kind of premiere skins do you think they might, you know, because I think if they're going to do the turtles, they're probably going to put some good premiere skins on them, and um, it would be really cool, like my, I would love to see a premiere skin of the Shredder, that's like the number one premiere skin that I hope that they do, maybe during the Super Bowl or after, Antoine, Power Rangers, I hope they do a premiere skin for the Shredder. Guys, if they do a premiere skin for the Turtles, who do you want as a premiere skin? Who do you want as a premiere skin? Talk to me. Talk to me and Goku. It, it's okay to talk to us. Goku is the most patient listening person I know. He's full, all ears. Um, Samurai Turtles from Teenage Mutant 3. They should bring back 3D fighting and MK11. Oh, Chocolate. Oh, no. They Actually, Chocolate, they purposely went back to the 2D format because they realized that 3D was limiting them from what they were able to do, like, you know, combat-wise. So they went back to 2D, and I agree. I think that was a better way. Chocolate. Antoine. No! Puh. Chocolate. Yes. Yeah, I don't think they're going to go back to 3D. No, no, no. Not at all, bro. Don't go back, Antoine. Chocolate. Yes! Yeah, I don't think they'll go back to 3D because 
Yeah, like like literally, Ed Boon literally said they had to make the decision to go back to before Mortal Kombat Nine because they just they were all out of options with 3D. They just they're just you know, and on top of that, there were so many 3D fighters that like you know at some point you're gonna start copying other people. If they had kept going with the 3D fighters, at some point they were just gonna start imitating other other 3D fighters out there, and they were kind of limited. But going back to 2D allowed them so much more freedom. Let's see. How can they make Frost unique and not a Sub-Zero clone? I was thinking creating ice weapons. Paulette, well, you know, I, it's interesting. A lot of people want Frost to come back. Um, I'm curious to see what her variations would be, Paulette, to be honest with you. Because if Paulette, if, if they gave her variations, then she would definitely play different from Sub-Zero because her variations would give her more personality. 2D for for life 3d almost bankrupt them <laughs> i kind of like raiden in injustice too because his play playable play a place i was fun the turtle are most likely going to be coming out on tuesday february the 12th but sergio that's so far away sergio that's so far away and you're upsetting you're upsetting goku you're upsetting goku he doesn't like that that's too far away boo they should at least bring weapons back well, chocolate they do have weapons but they just allow people to use their weapons for special moves and i think it's better that way because when it's you know weapons based combat is kind of limited no weapons was kind of bonk yeah i agree weapons was not that spectacular raiden gear was shockingly good well you know paulette paulette did you like seeing his chest did you like seeing raiden's chest the fact that he, he actually had a v-neck on he looked he kind of looked like a pimp daddy Raiden, Raiden kind of looked like a samurai pimp daddy that you might be able to see on the corner of Bangkok. I was really shocked when they let Raiden show so much skin. I think the 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 Kater kid would be good. Antoine, the Kater kid? Who is the, the Kater kid? Is that another gaming franchise I haven't heard? Shockingly good. I see what you did there. Buchan. Pippin. Yeah, Naeem. No, like his gear, not that stripper. <laughs> Pimp. Oh. Naeem, you need to make up your mind. Is it Pippin or is it Pimpin? Who's, who's Kater Kid? Guys, we're still trying to figure out the Kater Kid. Was, was he a character from like one of the other... Um, Fighting games back in the 2000s? The Kater Kid? I'm really confused. Anyways, let me scroll through some comments. Bob Ross Raiden. <laughs> ben Elliott. Um, name uh, Buchan. Karate Kid. Antoine. DC. DC. Paulette. Karate Kid. Oh, the, oh, was the Kater Kid a kid who was like in the Karate Kid movie? Oh, that makes sense. So maybe they might use the Kater Kid as a, um, as a guest character from the Karate Kid movie. That's a possibility. <laughs> Paulette, I'm so glad you caught that. I'm so glad you guys caught that. No, he missed, he missed Bell Karate. Buchan, if you don't know that I'm joking by now... Ultra, Ultra, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Buchan, lol. TJ, in Mortal Kombat 11, they should bring gear and variation. 2v2, Mortal Kombat 9. Well, 2v2 would be really interesting. But, you know, to be honest with you, I honestly like the fact that Mortal Kombat didn't do the 2v2 for Mortal Kombat X because I think the... Um... Well, never mind. I'm going to think about that for a little bit longer. Antoine, yeah! Guys, to be honest with you, I have no clue why Antoine just said yeah. I'm going to go with it. Anyway, I'm just joking. Um, but yeah, so... Um, back to the Turtles. I guess we're going to go back to the Turtles. I feel like everyone keeps trying to give me a Mortal Kombat. I don't get you guys. It's almost like y'all like Mortal Kombat better than Injustice 2. Gotta run. Catch you on the next stream. Keep it up. Thanks, Kevin. I do appreciate you dropping in. Hopefully, I'll see you again on another stream. I do these regularly at 12 a.m. every night. Let's see. They should have put Tag Team in Injustice 2. Actually, that would have made more sense for Tag Team in Injustice 2. I think they should cross both systems. Do you mean it's better for MK9 because it's a slower-paced game? Mm. 
uh, I'll get back to that, Paulette. MK is live. We do. I feel like Team Bean is, is kind of going to be uh, overpowered. Probably Buchan. Ben L. MK is better. Of course, I agree with you. Of course, Ben. Uh, going back to what Paulette said, do you... Well, yeah, uh, you know, the way that they, they hadn't introduced the variation system in Mortal Kombat 9, so I think that the 2v2 system really worked well. But since they introduced variation, honestly, I kind of really enjoyed, you know, I, I think variation allowed you to enjoy the, 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 the personality of the character on a whole different level. And so I kind of like that because in Mortal Kombat 9, the characters didn't have as much personality. They were still very traditional fighters back in Mortal Kombat but in Mortal Kombat 10 they actually took the variation system and allowed you to play using you know it, 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 it I think it kind of gave the characters much more personality and it, it altered their move sets and so you kind of could get fully immersed into the very character you're playing so the 2v2 system I think would have distracted from just really being able to enjoy uh, you know the different variations of the characters and all the all the different you know all the different methods of gameplay that you could use each variation for i mean even now with the variation system i'm still going back and learning a lot of stuff about certain characters that i didn't master or didn't main just because of the variation system so i'm kind of glad they didn't just throw in the 2v2 with mortal kombat x because i think that might have been overkill you know you got the variation system going and on top of that you got two di two different characters that are going to be operating on two different variation systems that probably would have made it that would have made it so complicated to play out as 2v2 because i mean then i mean then on top of that you would have to remember the variations that you set for each character because you know you come out you know you have one character and you forgot you switched the variation and you're still trying to do the combos for one variation but you you know but you you're using another variation that would have made 2v2 like really complicated anyways um and i'm still talking about this whole situation what has people been talking about i'm gonna get mkx is it dead tj well it's it's not as it's not as popular now but there's still people getting on the live stream tj if you still wanted to do it I mean, I mean, there's still people getting online on the game. D Dissidia finally downloaded. Oh, that's cool. Maybe they can add tag interaction, like Devorah asking Molina to fight together. Pa Paulette, why would you use both of those names in the same sentence? Why would you do that, Paulette? Paulette, you know this is deeply emotional. I'm going to play and lurk. You can, oh, well, you play and lurk. Paulette, I can't believe this. You don't mention Molina with that woman in the same sentence. You don't do that. I can't tell you how much money I've spent on therapy trying to get trying to deal with that. Whole scene. Melina Baraka can have a baby. Chocolate. I just don't even know what to say. Baraka, if you can even find figure find the real Baraka since all the Tarkatans look the same. Anyways. But yeah, so um so guys, um, so we got the, I, I honestly don't know when the turtles are going to be dropping. Um, we, we're seeing the screenshots now, so it looks like it's right around the corner. Chocolate, no, just no, just no. <laughs> <laughs> Melina and, uh, and, and Fate her death to run away together. Buchan, you did that on purpose. You purposely did that on purpose. You saw what Paulette just said and what I just told her, and you did that on purpose, and I don't appreciate it. Chocolate, Paulette, yes. Chocolate says yes, yes, yes. Okay, well. Anyways. So, um, I'm thinking that, um, but yes, going back to Injustice. Yeah, so, uh, so this trailer could drop at any moment, guys. I'm just gonna keep my eyes peeled. Tomorrow, I'm probably gonna be online just all day, just trying to, just waiting for, um, more information. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure that they're probably gonna drop more screenshots, too. Oh, I'm so ready on getting on getting Shadow of Colossus. Okay, Baraka Molina. Okay, so Sergio wants to get Shadow of Colossus. Baraka Molina can have a baby since Johnny Cage started having chocolate. He's still tripping. They have Tarkat and Buck type hybrid babies. Buchan, chocolate is laughing hysterically with tears coming out of the smiley face. Okay, how long are you streaming today? No, oh, I'm gonna go for an hour. So we got about six more minutes. Ultra Ninja. How are you doing today, Ultra Ninja? You haven't been talking very much in the stream. TJ, whom do you think I should main in MKX? Also, who is the best ch character? 
chocolate. I'm not tripping. TJ, that is totally up to your personality. I honestly cannot tell you who to main. Um, it all depends on, you know, if you want if you want to like main an overpowered character, you might want to go for one of the gifts characters like, um, like Predator or Alien. Jason, they're kind of overpowered. Scorpion is a little overpowered. Scorpion uh, is very easy to spam. If you like to spam, use Scorpion. Um, if you're into the female players, mine is my favorite is Melina. Um, Katana. Katana is probably the most uh, versatile. She's probably the most powerful female character in the sense that she actually can play with Jade's weapons as well as her fan weapon. So, uh, you know, if you want a lot of choices, you might want to go with Katana because Katana can, she uses Jade's staff and her glaive and she uses her fan. Katana has a whole lot going on. Uh, Buke and Kung Lao is the best. Triborg, Aaron Black, Katana. Oh, damn, I'm going to go ahead and focus on this game. I'll catch the next one have a good night everyone good night Buchan. thank you for joining the stream good to see you as always um but yes so ultra so those are just some suggestions the most popular of the brand new characters would be aaron black everyone loved aaron black because you know because he was a gunslinger i'm up close tj Liu kang dragonfire variation is so fun yes Liu kang is a very cool character he's very very cool um uh, Cyber Sub Zero. I thought Cyber Sub Zero was very cool to play because his his game style is very complex, given all the traps that you can throw out with his ice bombs, his ice bombs, and his ice clones that he can deploy to magnify his attacks. He's probably one of the more complex characters if you like complicated gameplay. How do you, you want the team in your outro to be? Paulette, Paulette, it would be really cool if they actually played the '80s music. Teen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in a Half Shell, Turtle Power. Because they actually, they would be the only character that they actually play theme music for. Because all the other characters don't really have theme music out for their outros. But if they did theme music for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that would be awesome. Do you know how to get Kenshi's art in MK10? Can't find any info online about it. Ben Elliott, what kind of art are you talking about? Are you talking about concept art? Like, are you looking for concept art on Kenshi? Um, because you know, pretty much all the concept art stuff is in the is in is in the uh, is in the uh, crypt. Um, I don't know if they have any specifically of him, but Ben, one thing I can tell you is, if you can't find it in the crypt, you can if you uh, there's a lot of concept art for Kenshi. If you Google it, if you just type in Mortal Kombat X Kenshi concept art, it'll pull up a lot. Of, like I've I've seen a few ver a, a few like like concept variations for Kenshi when I was doing some searches for like some uh, screenshots for MKX so you can definitely see it if you're just trying to see it now if you're trying to unlock it if you're trying to figure out where to go to unlock it in the crypt I don't know but um, you'd have to you'd really have to just look up crypt sorry for my bad English ultra you I can understand your uh, I can understand what you're saying your English is not bad to me chocolate imagine a female cyborg yeah, chocolate. That would be really cool. Um, and also, I thought it would be really cool to have one of the cyborgs actually go back to being human and go back to using their human name instead of uh, the LK520 series or the LK. It would be cool to see them because I think in Deception, we actually saw Cyrex. Cyrex actually had a human skin in Mortal Kombat Deception, I think. Um, and you could actually see his face and, and you could actually see his hands and stuff like that. But, you know, we're on a whole new timeline now, so... Mm. But anyways, um, all right, guys, y'all managed to get me off of Injustice Two. Ed Moon said no female cyborg. Paula, did he really say that? Did he really say that? I have never heard Ed Moon mention that at all. That's, I mean, and honestly, I don't know why would he say that. Cause I'm like, that would be a really cool character, a female cyborg character. Or maybe if like Frost got automated, or like if she got automated into like a uh, like, like you know, female Cyber Sub Zero. I never heard him say that. Oh man. Well, either way, Cyborg Molina Chocolate. Why would you say that? Why would although a Cyborg Molina would probably kick ass, but why would you say that? I don't want Molina to get automated. I remember when I first saw Sub Zero get automated in Mortal Kombat 9. I actually, I actually felt sad. I actually felt sad. I mean, I had a moment where I literally like stopped. Like, like what? 
You know, Cyber, I mean, I got sad when I saw Cyber, Sub-Zero had been automated. That was really emotional. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, like, wind down the stream. We're, we're, we're getting down to about nine visitors, and I'm, like, 30 seconds away from going for a full hour. So I'm going to go ahead and wind it down. Thank you for joining. Tomorrow night, I am going to announce the winners for the giveaway tomorrow at 12 a.m. If y'all do not, don't, if you do not, if you do not know about the giveaway, uh, look at my videos for my, my past two videos that I've done uh, for, um, uh, what was it, uh, for Marvel vs. Capcom. My last two uploads were Marvel vs. Capcom videos, and in the description box below, I explain how to, how to participate in the giveaway. So check out what's in the description box for my past two Marvel vs. Capcom videos with the, with the thumbnail. And that will tell you how to participate in the giveaway if you... Epic, where have you been? Where have you been, Epic? Where have you been? We've gone a whole hour. Good night, Astro. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Ben. I'll see you soon. Um, but guys, if... Orion! Orion, where have you been? Actually, I, I mentioned you in the stream tonight. Um, anyway, so if y'all want to do the giveaway, guys, don't forget about the giveaway. If you have the if you have the answers to the Mortal Kombat trivia questions, make sure you put them on my Twitter page tomorrow after 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Oh, uh, epic grinding and Justice 2 mobile. Oh, really, Orion? What did you say? Oh, um, oh, I can't I can't remember Orion. We've been going for a whole hour, bro. I remember I mentioned you because you said something funny, Paulette. Okay, bye astronaut. Fun stream. Sorry about the bug lady. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, thank you, Paulette. Thank you for considering my feelings. Um, oh, and now now the stream jumps all the way up to like 15 visitors now that I'm getting ready to end the stream. Uh, Derp Geta, Karak, Karak, how's it going? Derp Geta, welcome to the stream. Unfortunately, we're about to end. I'm so sorry, but thank you for jumping in. I do appreciate it. Uh, see, you, astronaut. All right, guys, but um, join me again tomorrow for 12 a.m. If you want to participate in the giveaway, check out my giveaway information in my description box for my Marvel vs. Capcom videos, the past two uploads. You should see them right there on my on my channel if you just go to my channel page. Check it out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a good night. You should check out my channel, Astronaut. I also sent a friend request on Xbox. Okay, I will definitely do that. Epic. See you, Astronaut. Derp Geta, I'm sorry we're ending right when you're coming in, but I'll be back on tomorrow at 12 a.m. if you want to join us again. Bye, Ultra Ninja. Bye, Astro. When is your next stream? It's going to be tomorrow at 12 a.m. I'm going to announce the winners of the giveaway. TJ, good night, Epic. Oh, Epic, I will visit your channel and I'll leave a comment on one of your videos, okay? All right, guys. Y'all have a good night.